Well, I promised you a full week update on the uh, Koi Pond filter experiment, and um, this is it. Uh, I've got weeks one through four wrapped up in here, and uh, we'll go through those. You'll see what the uh, what the outlook or the, excuse me, you'll see what the outcome looks like in terms of how these plants did that I put in the uh, hydroponics. Um, this is the Koi Pond waterfall. This was a huge project. Um, I actually wish I had recorded it or at least taken some pictures of it. If I could find any, I'll definitely do something with this uh, to share with you. But anyway, let me uh, just give you a quick shot of the koi. Who have been the contributors of the uh, fertilizer, if you will. There's the koi. And I better go get some food. They're pretty demanding. They'll actually eat right out of your hand. Alright, so it's week two. And um, the tomatoes are definitely flourishing. I'm going to have to tie these up a little better. Uh, the basil, um, oregano. They're, uh, they're all doing pretty good. I mean, the uh, cilantro's not doing that great. Uh, this tomato plant's uh, definitely taking taking off. It's got a really nice root structure going on there. Let's see if we can capture that. The green beans are doing not that great. Uh, the two that I planted an in inch deep came up early. Uh, it looks like the ones that are inch and a half deep are starting to come up. Um, there's some leaf curl going on here. I don't know if this is because of insect, virus, or whatever. Um, the good news is they do have a good root structure, you can see that there, but um, they're getting eaten alive. So I'm going to spray them with some uh, Dawn soap and water and see if I can get these to recover. Um, try to get these roots back in here without hurting them too much. But we'll see. Overall though, I'm pretty pleased, um, especially with the tomatoes. I mean, they're, they're, just, they're just kicking it. <laughs> they obviously love pond water. Um, so does the basil, the um, the oregano, and uh, here's the other tomato plant. So um, I'll do a weekly update. This is week two, and we'll see uh, how it goes. Hopefully we'll get the cilantro to recover, though. I'm not too hopeful with that. I might put some other uh, kitchen spices in there. Well, week three, and let's see what we have as far as uh, the hydroponics experiment. As you can see, everything is doing actually really, really well. Uh, the tomatoes are excited, especially the tomatoes. They're, uh, they're going nuts. Nuts over here. Uh, we've got uh, thyme, or German thyme and Greek oregano uh, doing really well. Uh, the cilantro just kind of fell off the vine. I don't think it likes the water chemistry. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, just won't put cilantro in here. I'm not, definitely not changing the pond water chemistry uh, to make the uh, cilantro happy. But I did put these uh, decorative grasses in there. See if they take off and then I'll replant them somewhere. The heirloom tomato is doing phenomenal. Um, it's just growing like crazy. Uh, the root structure, if you can see it. It's just going way into the into the uh, into the tube. Um, green beans. I've got two of them that came up. I replanted some more. I think it conditions, contrary to popular belief, might be too moist. But we'll see how these do. Hopefully, within a couple of weeks, um, I'll get some green beans going. I'll have a nice big uh, set of uh, bushy green beans going here. But overall, I'm really happy with this. Um, I might just. If I do this again, I might go with just tomatoes and maybe try some peppers in here too because uh, the tomatoes are sucking up a lot of nitrates out of the, uh, the pond water. So overall, so far, I would say this is uh, very successful. So this is week four, and uh, I think the results are really pretty spectacular for the tomatoes at least. These things are taking off like it's unbelievable. I have to tie them up again, um, and I'll probably start trimming the tops too, so that they don't they don't grow too big. Uh, the uh, oregano uh, is doing good. The basil's taking off. These uh, grasses that I uh, 
put in there to replace the cilantro that didn't make it. You know, obviously, the cilantro doesn't like the water chemistry or being soaked, something. Um, kind of neutral right now, not sure. Here's that uh, one tomato plant, which is, uh, again, doing really, really well. And I have to tie this one up. I'm going to let this one grow up high because we've got some shepherd's crooks up there. So I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of room to hold things up. Then, of course, the beans look like crap. Um, maybe beans are not the thing to do hydroponically. Uh, what I might try to do is grow, at least germinate these separately. And once the plant is established, put it in there. I'm going to have to spray these, though, because there's a bunch of stuff on the beans that are... Uh, attacking it I guess but anyway overall I think this is a success uh, I might try to put some pepper plants in here see how it works but again week four has done really well the tomatoes are just absolutely spectacular um, they're about three times the size of the other tomato plants that I have in the garden um, so this is acting as a good filter uh, I gotta say that the um, water that's running through there from the pond is uh, absolutely nourishing uh, some of these plants not all of them but um, you know, as we experiment with this going forward, we'll find out what plants like this, what plants don't. Um, but really, really good results. I'm really pleased with this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, and I definitely hope you find it informational. It's been an interesting experiment. Um, I'll carry it through the summer. I'll probably switch a few plants out here and there that don't do well. Definitely try to do something with those beans. Um, or they may just not be compatible with uh, the water chemistry, but overall I think this was a tremendous success. The um, tomatoes especially, these things are just absolutely uh, rocking it. Um, hope it's been helpful to you and uh, maybe you've learned something or have come up with a few ideas. I'd be welcome to get your feedback. Um, let me know what you think of this experiment. And make sure to watch our other videos as well. Thank you.